This is the worst outbreak of the West Nile virus in years. And in the southern state of Texas, the mosquito-borne virus has already claimed lives and made hundreds sick. 14-year-old Jordan Connor is expected to make a full recovery, but authorities are monitoring the situation closely. I think people are, are correct in, in being concerned about it, and uh, certainly when you have that many fatalities, uh, it, it's something that bears our attention. In Dallas, a state of emergency has been declared. Trucks have already begun spraying areas with pesticides, and the mayor has now approved the use of aerial chemical sprays, the first time that's happened in the city in almost 50 years. Some local officials have expressed concern about possible adverse health effects. Meanwhile, local groups are doing what they can. We want people to take action to protect themselves, protect their family, protect their neighbours, protect their neighbourhood. It's thought the spike in cases may have been brought on by a mild winter and rainy spring, perfect conditions for mosquitoes. But it's not just Texas that's been affected. Unusually high rates of the West Nile virus are being reported across the United States. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.